Sweet Child O' Mine is a song by the American rock band Guns N' Roses, featured on their debut studio album, Appetite for Destruction. Released on August 1988 as the album's third single, the song topped the Billboard Hot 100 chart, becoming the band's first and only number one single in the U.S. Billboard ranked it as the number five song for 1988. It reached number six on the U.K. singles chart, when re-released in 1989. Background and composition. Lead guitarist Slash has been quoted as having an initial disdain for the song due to its roots as simply a string skipping exercise and a joke at the time. During a jam session at the band's house in the Sunset Strip, drummer Steven Nudler and Slash were warming up and Slash began to play a circus melody while making faces at Adler. Rhythm guitarist Izzy Stradlin asked Slash to play it again. Stradlin came up with some chords. Duff McAlgan created a bass line and Adler planned a beat. In his autobiography, Slash said within an hour my guitar exercise had become something else. Meanwhile, lead singer AXL Rose was listening to the musicians upstairs in his room and was inspired to write lyrics, which became complete by the following afternoon. He based it on his girlfriend Erin Everly, and declared that Leonard Skynet had served as an inspiration to make sure that we'd got that heartfelt feeling. On the next composing session in Burbank, the band added both a bridge and a guitar solo to Sweet Child O' Mine. While the band was recording demos with producer Spencer Proffer, he suggested adding a breakdown at the song's end. The musicians agreed, but were not sure what to do. Listening to the demo in a loop, AXL started saying to himself, Where do we go? Where do we go now? And Proffer suggested that he sing that. The song is composed in the key of D flat major and played in the key of D major tuned down a half step on guitars and bass. The ending solo is in E flat minor harmonic key. Music video The Sweet Child O' Mine video depicts the band rehearsing in the Huntington Ballroom at Huntington Beach, surrounded by crew members. All of the band members' girlfriends at the time were shown in the clip. Rose was dating Erin Everly at the time whose father is Don Everly of the Everly Brothers fame. Duff's girlfriend Mandy from the all-female rock band The Lame Flames was there, as was Stephen Adler's girlfriend Cheryl and Slash's girlfriend Sully. Izzy Stradlin's dog was also featured. The video was extremely successful on MTV, and helped launch the song to success on mainstream radio. In an effort to make Sweet Child O' Mine more marketable to MTV and radio stations, the song was cut from 556 to 412, with much of Slash's guitar solo removed. This move drew the ire of the band members, including AXL Rose, who commented on it in a 1989 interview with Rolling Stone, I hate the edit of Sweet Child O' Mine. Radio station said, well, your vocals aren't cut. My favorite part of the song is Slash's slow solo. It's the heaviest part for me. There's no reason for it to be missing except to create more space for commercials, so the radio station owners can get more advertising dollars. When you get the chopped version of Paradise City or half of Sweet Child and Patience cut, you're getting screwed. The edit was released on the 7-inch vinyl format of the single as a remix while the 12-inches vinyl format contained the longer LP version. On an interview on Eddie Trunk's New York radio show in May 2006, AXL Rose stated that his original concept for the video focused on the theme of drug trafficking. According to Rose, the video was to depict an Asian woman carrying a baby into a foreign land, only to discover at the end that the child was dead and filled with heroin. This concept was rejected by G Fen Records. There is also an alternative video for Sweet Child O' Mine with different shots, all in black and white. Reception Sweet Child O' Mine placed number 37 on Guitar World's list of the 100 greatest guitar solos. It also came in at number 3 on Blender's 500 Greatest Songs Since You Were Born, and at number 198 on Rolling Stone's The 500 Greatest Songs of All Time. In March 2005, Q Magazine placed it at number 6 in its list of the 100 greatest guitar tracks. The introduction's famous riff was also voted number one riff of all time by the readers of Total Guitar magazine. It was also in Rolling Stone's 40 Greatest Songs That Changed the World. It places number seven in VH1's 100 Greatest Songs of the 80s, 
and placed number 210 on the RIAA Songs of the Century list. On a 2004 BBC poll, the song was voted to have the greatest guitar riff ever. The song is currently ranked as the 104th greatest song of all time, as well as the best song of 1987, by acclaimed music. The song has sold 2,609,000 digital copies in the US as of March 2012. Australian Cruel Controversy In 2015, the web page of the Australian music TV channel Max published an article by music writer Nathan Jolly that noted similarities between Sweet Child O' Mine and the song Unpublished Critics by the Australian band Australian Crawl, from 1981. The article included both songs, inviting readers to compare the two. It also cited a reader's comment on an earlier article that had originally drawn attention to the similarities between the songs. As of May 2015, this comment no longer appeared on the earlier article. The story went viral quickly encouraging several comments on both the Max article and the suggestion that unpublished critics had influenced Sweet Child O' Mine, including one from Duff McHagan, bass player with Guns N' Roses when Sweet Child O' Mine was written and recorded. McHagan found the similarities between the songs stunning, but admitted that he had not previously heard unpublished critics. Legacy the opening riff can be heard briefly of the Red Hot Chili Peppers song punk rock classic from the Mother's Milk album. A cover of the song is featured as a special encore in the music video game Guitar Hero 2. The song SCOM from Fort Minor's mixed up we major samples from the introductory riff of the song. In Keith Urban and Brad Paisley's starter band, a tribute to the main riff can be heard as the singers describe famous rock songs. The Steel Panther song Death to All But Metal includes the riff in its pre-chorus. SR71 song, AXL Rose contains part of the opening riff. The song is an easter egg in the video game Diablo 3, Act I, which is slow danced to by a red-headed female artisan near Tristram Cathedral after successfully serenading her with this phrase, Disco. Sometimes I like unnatural. Equals in film equals, the first time this song appeared in a movie was in 1988. It played as the credits were rolling for the movie Bad Dreams. Sweet Child O' Mine was featured in the 2008 film The Wrestler. The song is played when Randy the Ram Robinson makes his entrance to the ring at the end of the film. Rourke, who is friends with AXL Rose, persuaded him to allow the song to be played in the film for a fraction of what would have been normally charged. Rourke himself used the song as his entrance music during his boxing career in the early 1990s. The song is in the Sean Penn, Gary Oldman film State of Grace. Sheryl Crow's cover of this song is featured in the Adam Sandler film, Big Daddy. The Taken by Trees cover of this song appears at the end of the movie Life as We Know It. It also is used in the trailer for the 2009 remake of The Last House on the Left. The introductory riff is heard in the 2010 film Gulliver's Travels, starring Jack Black. In Step Brothers, Derek and his family sing this song during a car ride, causing them to swerve into oncoming traffic. Equals Artist Covers Equals, in 2000, the song was covered by Sheryl Crow and re-recorded by the then new Guns N' Roses members for the film Big Daddy and was later included in her third studio album The Globe Sessions. Crow's version earned her a Grammy Award for Best Female Rock Vocal Performance. The recording was produced by Rick Rubin and Crow. A music video for Crow's version was also released, directed by star copyright fame Seth Nowey. A separate Guns N' Roses version which morphed into a live version halfway through was not featured on the original Big Daddy soundtrack album of the film, but can be heard during the film's ending credits. This Guns N' Roses version of the song was also featured in the 1990 film State of Grace, in a bar during a brawl. During the Super Bowl XLV halftime show, which featured the Black Eyed Peas, Slash joined with vocalist Fergie to perform the song. Formats and track listing, all songs written and composed by Guns N' Roses except where noted. Personnel, AXL Rose, lead vocals, slash, lead guitar, acoustic guitar, Izzy Stradlin, rhythm guitar, backing vocals, Duff McHagan, bass guitar, backing vocals, Steven Adler, drums. Charts and certifications. See also, list of best-selling singles in the United States. 
List of Hot 100 No. 1 Singles of 1988, List of UK Rock Chart No. 1 Singles of 2010. References External links, full lyrics of this song at Metro Lyrics.